The core feature of internalized stigma is shame. People have accepted harsh judgments, beliefs about themselves and internalized them. And one of the biggest barriers is that this leads to avoidance. And they don't seek treatment or help, uh, which might include efforts to engage them more in social groups, in activities, in peer support, in other ways to get them more social contact, to, to get people around them who say, we like you, you matter to us, you're, you're worth something. Efforts to give them some productive activity, be it volunteer work, uh, be it uh, sheltered workshop, be it uh, supported employment and periods of work in, in competitive employment. The, uh, the most grinding, the most problematic aspect of internalized stigma and the shame it brings is this avoidance, a failure, a failure to seek out others, to hide, uh, a failure uh, which leads to a, a failure to get the support you need to get out of internalized stigma. Now some people on the basis of feeling stigma may go into an actual depression and they lose energy, they lose initiative, they lose the ability to push through and, and do what needs to be done for them to feel better. And they may need pharmacologic or psychosocial treatment for that. But the, uh, I, think, I, 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 I think the biggest problem with internalized stigma is, uh, is letting people get alienated, letting people get uh, isolated and taking them away from the contacts they need to, uh, to, to build up some stigma resistance, to understand they have value, to understand their, that they can lead productive lives, they can have social contacts, they can be happy. Even, you know, they have this um, mental illness. It wasn't their fault, they didn't cause it. We can manage it and they can, they can do the things they want to do.